Okay, so we've got our circular fifth chord sequence. Uh, what we're going to do now that we know where we're going, hopefully, or we're getting to know it, uh, we are going to introduce the idea of a regular beat. It's not that fast. Let's slow it right down. Maybe we'll go for that. That's even, that's quite fast. Though. We're going to do four of each chord on the beat. And that gives us time to think about the next chord. I need to think about B flat major now. Oh, I'm too slow. Down to E flat. A flat's next. Etc. Yeah? Don't set yourself too fast to speed. Do be realistic about this. You're aiming to just keep it nice and steady. Give yourself time to think about the next chord. Then put that left hand back in. And by doing this, you're also training your hands to do a, a really useful basic accompaniment pattern, especially if you introduce an extra note in the left hand. If I did it on one chord, of songs use chords in this order so that's you're training yourself to get used to the sound of that as well so there you go learn your chords in their families follow the circle of fifths get the ballad accompaniment groove going and you're well on your way to playing about a zillion different songs thank you for listening have fun bye bye <laughs>